Hello folks, it's the Pacer Chaser again, welcome to another one of my videos. In this one I'm going to look at the A180 road, and I know what you're thinking. Uh, Pacer Chaser, your videos are normally uh, historical. Why are you doing a video about a road that's still there? Well, all will become clear in a little bit. I'm just here on uh, World Lane in Great Coach, just outside Grimsby. I'm just on the approach to the uh, bridge over the A180. Um, the reason I'm not on the bridge is because if I was you wouldn't be able to hear me and that's a clue as to why we're here. So the A180 was built in the early 1980s, it opened fully in 1983 and it runs from the end of the M180 at Barnetby along to Lock Hill in Grimsby where it made an end on junction with the what was then the A1031 Cleethorpe Road. That part of the A1031 was renumbered to be part of the A180 and it runs along Cleethorpe Road in Grimsby and Grimsby Road in Cleethorpes and it terminates at the bottom of Isaacs Hill just outside Cleethorpes town centre. The bit we're concerned with today is the bit uh, that was built in the 1980s. It was built with a concrete surface. Um, I've heard it said locally it was supposed to be a temporary surface but I've never seen any documents that actually prove that. But yeah, it's got a concrete surface that's got kind of a ribbed texture to it and that gives rise to the famous or rather infamous noise that the road makes and that's uh, why we're here. It wasn't quite all done with a concrete surface. There was a short stretch near, near Melton Ross, uh, just up towards Barnetby, just a couple of hundred yards that was done with tarmac. Um, at that point, the road goes over a road tunnel that uh, carries an access road between two quarries, and the concrete surface wasn't deemed to be suitable to go over there for whatever reason. So that bit was done in tarmac. In more recent years, um, a couple of bits have been redone in tarmac where, they run, where it runs close to houses to try and cut the noise level for residents and there's a couple of bits that have been repaired over the years that have got tarmac on but most of it still retains its original concrete surface. Now the noise level varies massively according to what car you drive. In my wife's car it's uh, more or less impossible to have a conversation when you're going along that road. If you do need to communicate you've got to really shout and point and it's much easier to wait until you get onto a bit of tarmac. But uh, as part of my work, I often go down the road in taxis and it does vary massively between different makes of cars. Some of them, uh, it's relatively quiet. In fact, I reckon in the quieter cars, the uh, droning noise of the road combined with the less than inspiring scenery was leading to a lot of instances of drivers falling asleep behind the wheel. The A180 was built to semi-motorway standards, so it's got the grade separated junctions that you would find on a motorway. However, there's only two lanes in each direction. Uh, there's no hard shoulder, but it does have laybys around every mile along its length. When it was originally built, there was no median barrier. Uh, the central reservation was just a strip of grass, but they had quite a few bad crossover accidents where lorries crossed over onto the opposite carriageway. So in the late 1980s, they put a median barrier in. And in more recent years, they've put barriers alongside the laybys to try and stop the instances of drivers falling asleep, drifting into laybys and crashing into whatever was parked there. So the reason I'm here, I was researching this road um, as part of a video I did on the B1214 road recently. And I found some bits of information out. The uh, most important of them was that permission had been granted back in 2018, um, in March 2018, to resurface the road. Um, it was going to be done in three stages, costing around £10 million. Pounds. Now it's currently June 2023, and apart from the bits of time that I've mentioned, they haven't done it yet. But uh, given the state of the road and the uh, noise levels and the increasing levels of complaints about the noise, it must have been a matter of time before they actually resurface it. So I thought I'd come and just have a look at the road and uh, pay tribute, if that's the right word, to the noise of it before it's resurfaced. In 2017, some reporters from the Grimsby Telegraph drove along the road and they uh, monitored the noise levels in the car. They found that the westbound carriageway was worse than the eastbound, which anybody who's used the road will be able to tell you. But the noise levels were consistently between sort of 70 and the high 80s. But at one point they recorded a noise level inside the car with the windows closed of 92 decibels, which is quite impressive. Um, it's been called by the BBC for around the last 10 years Britain's noisiest road. Whether that's actually true or not, I don't know, but I've travelled extensively around the UK and I never, never quite uh, found a road that was anywhere near as noisy as this one, so I can well believe it. But yeah, I thought I'd pay tribute to the noise before they uh, eventually resurface it and quieten it down a bit. So I'm going to go up onto the bridge now and uh, show you a couple of shots of the road. And you just have a listen to the uh, traffic noise, which as you can already hear is building as I get closer to it.
So as always, thank you for joining me in this video. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.